morning, people. I'm on my way to weigh in, but I'm so late that I'm not going to make the meeting. Um, oh, I had to figure... I, there are some wedding decor things that I had bought previously, but we're figuring out that we don't need so much, so I had to pull out what I needed to return because it's in the area that I'm going, so had to do that so I didn't leave the house until like 9 40 and my meeting starts at 10 which is 10 3 right now so definitely not going to be making it to the meeting but I guess that's okay I haven't been to a meeting in a few weeks which kind of sucks and I'm sure you know I know that meetings are extremely helpful um, but I do feel like I have you guys so mm. So I will be okay. My plan, my strategy for this week is taco soup. Legit taco soup. Like, actually make it. I'm going to buy all the ingredients for it. Taco soup. Have lunch. Have it for lunch Sunday through Thursday. Then um, I'm going to use up... I'm going to do probably shrimp and rice, shrimp and fried rice, um, shrimp and grits probably, pizza, because we have like two more flatbreads left, um, fish and fries, because I have that, and then the Trader Joe's orange chicken and fried rice. I have to go to Trader Joe's for the chicken and the rice, but that's it, and then otherwise I just need to get the ingredients for taco soup, so very low grocery week. Yay. That's what I wanted. Um, for breakfast, I plan to do grits and toast like I have been and also get probably some breakfast sandwiches just because I miss them. I love them so much. And fruit of whatever kind. I need to like cool it on the grapes because I keep eating so many that they go fast. They're so good. This is the time of the year to get grapes, you know? And I got them from Walmart. They were delicious. Um, uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Marley seems better this morning. She did have an accident in the house. She's being weird in that she doesn't want to go outside as much as she used to. I don't know what it is if it's like she got so used to taking walks that she's holding out for a walk you know what I mean like she's waiting until we go for that walk and we haven't been in the past couple days so yeah I don't know if, if that's what it is it's like she just isn't interested in going outside unless it's for a walk I don't know she's being kind of weird but she seemed better this morning we'll see how she is during the day Golly, I hadn't yawned at all before I turned on this freaking camera. Um, I do appreciate the, the comments and suggestions for her, though, so I will look into those. I know that a couple people said it's probably just her, um, you know, feeling my stress, which that's sad. I don't want her to feel, you know, off because of mommy. to go for a walk today. Maybe. I don't have stuff to do. Um, oh my gosh, really? This road? Um, what else was I going to say? I just have a banana with me. I don't have anything else.
I'm getting notifications that I'm getting sidetracked. What was I going to tell you? I don't know. We're going to weigh in. I'm pretty sure the meeting will be over by the time I get there. Then we're going to go get Starbs. I'm just going to do an iced Americano, I think, with a couple pumps of white mocha. So that'll be six. And then, I don't know. This is so annoying. I don't know if I'm going to get the breakfast sandwich or not. I kind of don't want to spend the money and spend the points. But if your girl's hungry, your girl's hungry. Like, you got to get something. So. And that's probably the best option there is out there. I know somebody said an egg McMuffin or an egg delight, egg white delight or something is good. Or is low in points. But I like a sausage or like a turkey bacon or some, something on there other than just egg whites and a freaking English muffin. So, yeah. I, oh, my fuel level is low. Yay. Um, so we'll see. I have to figure out, I have to see how much is on my Starbucks card. Um, I do plan on going to Michael's because I have a gift card. From Carissa, so I want to see what kind of sticker packs this Michael has. I'm happy planner. Um, yeah. Otherwise, oh, I have to go to Macy's and do several things at Macy's. Have to return stuff to TJ Maxx. They're only going to give me a store credit. Pretty sure. That's all right. I can use a store credit at TJ Maxx, no problem. Well, I will see you guys after weigh-in. I am fully expecting to gain mm, four pounds, something like that. And it really sucks. I mean, why can't we have the sense when we're a, we're faced with with a food challenge to really think about how it's gonna? I don't know. Like, I wouldn't have gained four pounds if I didn't eat everything that I did. I don't know that I've gained four pounds. I'm assuming I did. I have no idea. But that would be mm, three weeks. Uh -oh. Two weeks? Two weeks. We'll see. I sort of did what I could this week and then ate pizza. So I just wish that I could remember. Hey, Molly. You had this one treat, so don't have three more in the next two days because you already had something off plan. I don't know. Well, yeah, I'm fully expecting to gain and a lot, so we'll see what happens. Okay, I will talk to you later. Bye. Hello, hello, hello. I got to the meeting with like five minutes left. So I went to the bathroom, weighed in. I only gained 1.4, which I find miraculous. I don't know how that happened, but I only gained 1.4. So I think the total from three weeks has been, no, four weeks has been 2.6 because four Saturdays ago, I had gained 0.6 here. Then the week after that, it was my first week in Florida, I gained 0.6 when I weighed in. The second, the third week, which I didn't weigh in, and then today. So, I mean, it's better than I thought it was going to be. And it's much more doable. You know, I can get that off much quicker than if it was four pounds, five pounds. That would, that would be daunting and it would be kind of disheartening. But I can work with 1.4, 2.6, whatever. So, um, off to get my Starbs. I don't even know what the balance is on my card. Gotta figure that out. And... Yeah, do all my little errands. It is very overcast here. It feels like fall outside, which is not cool. I mean, I love fall, but I don't want it to be 
chilly right now. It's so hot in Florida though. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. Oh, it's gonna be hot that day, but the great thing is we're getting married under a very, very, very large and mature oak tree. So it's the entire spot where everyone's sitting is shaded and there's actually kind of a breeze under there, so it shouldn't be bad. Um, and everyone can stay in the venue until kind of right before the ceremony, so. That is good, that is good. Um, okay, well, that is all that I have for now. I will chat at you later. Pro oh, I'm gonna go to Target, did I say that? Yeah, I have to go to Target. But I don't think I wanna do it immediately because I wanna get the meat and I don't want it to sit in my car um, for a while. So I think I'll do everything else and then do Target last on my way out. That's probably the plan. Okay. I will talk to you later. Okay guys, checking in. I got Starbs and then I went to Macy's. Macy's sucked two hours out of my life. And then I went to all these other places and it sucked more time out of my life. But anyway, I wanted to give you a food update because technically today's, you know, we eat food today. So, I got a venti iced Americano with two pumps of white mocha and three pumps of sugar-free vanilla. Um, the total is six points for this, but I haven't had it all yet, so we'll see about that. I also did get the reduced fat turkey bacon something something breakfast sandwich. In the app it says it's seven points. I'll just go with it. There, There's some question about how many points that sandwich actually is, but I'm going to go with seven since that's what's in the app. So that was 13 points for breakfast. That was around 11. It's now 3.15 and I'm starving. I cannot hold off until dinner. So I stopped at Panera and I got a cup of the broccoli cheddar soup, which is, I believe, nine points. Um... And then I got a baguette, which is four, so that's another 13 points, that's 26 total. That would leave me 10 for dinner because my points went up because of my gain and it went to 36 points a day. So that will leave me 10 for my dinner. I've already tracked it as Chipotle, um, so I will go in by six points. I'll go into my weeklies by six points, which I don't feel like is terrible. I mean, typically I'm going in like 20 on my Saturday, so um, I'm not gonna lie, when I was in TJ Maxx, I saw my sour jelly beans and I almost picked them up. I mean, I did actually have them in my hand. I was holding them and then I said, no. Then I picked them up again and then the line got too long. So, um, I just put it back down. So I did not get the jelly beans, but I really wanted them because they are really good. Um, and I was going to get McDonald's, but McDonald's is too far down the street. I have to do some things still over here, so I didn't want to, it's already 3.15. I wasn't planning on spending all this time today here, but I went to Macy's and that took a while. Then I went to TJ Maxx, that took a while. I'll update you on the full thing later, but I'm going to eat my lunch, go to Michael's, because I've got a 60% off coupon today on one item and I have a gift card. So bet you bottom dollar I'm gonna use it and then I still need to go to Trader Joe's but that's gonna be like quick quick Target I have to go to PetSmart for Marley's food and then I will be on my way after getting Chipotle okay I'll see you guys later hi guys I'm on my way home finally it is six o'clock <laughs> I've probably been on the road for maybe like 10 or 15 minutes so to recap my day, holy cow. Um, I waited, told you all that. Then I got the Starbucks, then I went to Macy's because I wanted to get some presents for people that are in the wedding. I found a few things. I also found an additional piece of jewelry for me. And I think I can show you the picture, so I'll do that after this clip, I guess. Um, but I ended up spending like two hours in Macy's because 
there was a great bow tie debate because my mom, um, I don't know. Anyway, didn't end up getting bow ties, but. And plus, the freaking internet wouldn't let me send photos. It was taking forever. So I got hung up with that. Um, and then on my way out, I happened by like the workout area and they had all the tank tops on sale and everything was on sale. And I'm like, no, no. I did try some on, but I put everything back. I didn't buy anything. I did buy this super cute dress. Oh my gosh, it was so cute. Um, but it's a little bit short. I still bought it because it's pink and navy. It's so cute. I don't know when I'm gonna wear it, but it's really cute. I don't know if I'm gonna be happy with the way that my, the dress I have for the rehearsal dinner, I don't know if I'll be happy with the way that fits me by the time that comes around. So I guess this is a backup. Um, in case that one doesn't work out. Oh my god! Ah, I'm so tired. I still have that much left of my coffee. No. Um, after Macy's, I went to TJ Maxx, returned the stuff I needed to return, and got my little credit, which is going to work out wonderfully, actually, because we are doing bags for the, like, welcome bags for the guests of the hotel. So, um, one of the things I wanted to put in there was all those, like, really pretty wrapped soaps you can get from TJ Maxx and Home Goods. I just love them. I think they're so beautiful. So, I wanted to include one in each bag for each room. And, um, so now I have, you know, stuff on a card to buy that when we know the final count. So, yay. Okay. That worked out perfectly. Um, after TJ Maxx, I went to Ulta. Sorry. Oh no, I went to DSW because there are these pair of shoes. I already have my wedding shoes, but I actually have to go take them to a shoe fixer person because the heel is coming off. Um, so I had seen these other pair of Nina shoes online and I was just trying to see if they were in the store, but they were not in the store. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, I mean, like I said, I already do have shoes and they just have to get fixed and they're not, I think they're called, what is it? Dior say, Dior say where like, Something's covering your toes somewhat, and then there's a heel, but then the center is uncovered. There's nothing, you know, it's not a full pump. So the ones that I saw were actually a full pump. Ooh, it's gonna rain. Mm, mm, mm. Um, so the ones I had seen were a peep toe pump, and they were really cute, and they had a bow on them, and I was like, those might be cuter than the ones I got. So <laughs> I don't know. I'm still gonna think about it, I guess. You can order them and have them shipped to a store, so I might do that and have them shipped to an Orlando store so I can pick them up when I get there. I don't know. Still thinking. And then I went to, not that y'all really care, I went to Ulta because they were still having their leaders sale. I don't know how long that lasts. It might be up tomorrow, which is Sunday. Um, so, But their leaders were on sale, so I figure I might as well get some shampoo and conditioner while I can. And then I had a coupon and I had points. So I don't even know what I ended up spending for them. I think 20 bucks. So I got each liter for $10, which is pretty sweet. Um, then I went to Tuesday morning. I found a few goodies there for presents and also some wedding stuff. Like we're gonna be giving out cookies as our favor. Um, we're putting them in a cellophane bag with like a gold seal and then they're going to be sitting on that white paper shred um, And I just happened upon some and it was a good price. So I just picked some up, which is awesome We're also gonna do pretty guest towels in the bathrooms. So I was looking at those while I was there, but I didn't end up getting any um, Then I went to Panera because I was absolutely starving. I think it was three o'clock by that point so then 
you saw that I ate Panera. Um, and my plan worked out perfectly because I'm hungry now, so I'll be hungry for dinner, which is good. After Panera, I went to Michael's. Because I had that 60% off coupe and a gift card. And then the lady let me use a 55% off coupon too. And they were trying to trick me. I mean, although they wouldn't. Never mind. Well, the Color Splash line of Recollections is 70% off. If you, in my store, they didn't have any of the Color Splash washi tape with the 70% off sign. But I found some with the regular washi tape and it still scanned 70% off. So it was fine. It was just like, why you why didn't put it where the other stuff? It doesn't matter. Um, so I picked up another one of those because I figure I can give it to somebody. Or I do have a plan for it. And then I picked up one of the, with my 60% off coupon, I got one of the, or the functional big sticker packs from the Happy Planner. So I do have to film a big haul from Florida and Savannah, so I might as well just tag all that stuff on to the end. All that stuff. Another pack of stickers. Um, what else did I do? Oh. Uh. Then I went to PetSmart um, and got Marley some food and a pink leash for the wedding because we're gonna put some like flowers around her collar or put her a big bow or something I think so um, I think the pink will work if not I might have to do because it's definitely gonna oh, I didn't think about that the leash color that I picked out is like pink it's I mean it's like bubblegum pink which is not the color of the wedding I don't know we'll see the only other option was to buy that nylon trim, it's technically a trim, from like Joann's and create our own leash. So that might be, still be an option. Might still be an option. Um, then I went to Hobby Lobby. No. Then I went to Trader Joe's. Got my, I went in and, and I was in line in five seconds. I got the orange chicken and the fried rice and went back to the line. Then I went to Chipotle, got dinner. Then Hobby Lobby. I, my best friend just said it's Harry Potter weekend. How am I not aware of these things? Gosh. Mm -mm -mm. Tomorrow, I can't leave the house. I have to watch it all day. Um, anyway, then I went to Hobby Lobby because my, we are doing, um, for the seating assignments, we are, I'm doing a calligraphy, Prisoner of Azkaban is finishing up, and Goblet of Fire is next, she says. <laughs> I love how we tell each other, it's so fun. Anyway, okay, so I went to Hobby Lobby, because we are doing, um, or I'm calligraphing the person's name and their table number on a list, like A to D, and I'm putting every with the last names, A to D, and I'm putting their table numbers um, in gold and then we're putting them in gold frames and hanging the frames um, in like a glass case. So my mom needed one more frame, so I picked that up because they were 50% off. And then also paper crafting, um, like embellishments from Recollection, not Recollections, no. Um, whatever it is, Paper Studio was on sale. And they have other big sticker packs from the Happy Planner. They have different ones than my Michaels has. So I got them. I got one as a present and one for me. And then they have the rose gold like minis, the regular size sticker pack and then they had like a neon bright one. Oh my gosh. I got those two. But some are for presents. That's not all for me. Um, and I thought, well, maybe I'll get a nice lady and she'll let me use a 40% off coupon twice in two different transactions. I did split the transaction. Nope. She said,
said I can't use it twice on the same customer. If you had somebody else with you, then you could do it. And I'm like, what the freak does that matter? If, if you're going to give me 40% off today, or if you're going to give me 40% off when I come back on Monday and say, here's this coupon, give me 40% off on this sticker thing. What does it matter? What does it matter? It's so ridiculous. It's so, so stupid that I would need a second person there. Lady, I could come, I could go outside come back in go to a different person and get the 40% off again. Give me a break with your rules. Also, I don't believe Hobby Lobby is closing its doors and, and all this birth control nonsense because I've heard of, in in matter of two weeks, the last two weeks, I've heard of three stores opening up. Give me a freaking break. I swear it's just a marketing ploy to get people to rush to Hobby Lobby to buy more things. They're not closing, they're opening stores. So stop it, Hobby Lobby, stop lying. And stop not giving me my 40% off, it's ridiculous. Okay, rant over. <laughs> ah, um, so yes, that was Hob Lobs. Then I finally went to Target, my final destination. Got all the things I needed for taco soup. Um, breakfast sandwiches, got a Diet Dr. Pepper, and I was out of there. So. <sighs> the list of the gifts that I have to do for the wedding is growing. I don't know how, but it is. Oh my gosh, speaking of the wedding, not that, that we weren't always talking about it. Um, hold on, Chad wants to know what's my ETA. Be right back. Okay. Back. Um, uh, wedding speaking of the wedding so I mess okay we were going to be ordering from Etsy fans um, so we would have to order the PDF file from somebody we would tell them what the wording is that we want on the fan they would send us a PDF file we go get it printed on cardstock and then create the fans ourselves well that PDF file was gonna cost me $60 and I have a real hard time, if you haven't figured this out yet, I have a real hard time with paying for something that I feel I could do or I know I could do. And I mean, I could get the general look if I really, really tried, um, but I was having a hard time um, getting it to look like that 100%. So I, because what the fan looks like is on one side of the fan it's this paragraph but it's in all different fonts and all different sizes and colors and stuff and it's really fun looking and then on the other side of the fan is a shape um, the one that I chose that I want is just a heart so it's a shape of a heart but it does not have the outline the words are within the heart and and they are different sizes on the edges to make it look like a heart I don't know how to explain it I could put a picture in I guess um, so I messaged Kirsten from Kirsten Amber here on YouTube. Go check her channel out if you have not. She's fab and she's my friend. Um, I texted or messaged her because she's a graphic designer. And so I asked her, what program would I need to make this? And she said, oh, that's easy. You just need Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator, I'm, I suppose. And she's like, I have that. So let me just do it for you. And I was like, girl, I was so excited. I'm still so excited. So, I mean, she did it in like 10 minutes. Well, a little bit longer, 20 minutes. But I just gave her the wording that I wanted and she was like, boop, boop, here you go. Oh my gosh. I am so, so grateful for her. So now I don't have to pay somebody that I don't know 60 bucks to do a PDF file. Um, I'm sure I'll put a little present together to send to Kirsten. Don't tell her though. Um, and I have the fans. I am so excited. So I just have to tweak. I think I have to look at it and, and, and tweak anything if I want to. Um, and then we got it. We're good. So we just have to go get those printed, which my mom will do at Staples or something. Um, and then the only other thing we have to do is the menus, which is also a PDF file that I have to order off of Etsy. Um, but that one's only $15, so I don't feel as like, ooh, about it. Um, and I tried to do it, I mean, I could try to do it, I guess. But I don't know. I guess I could mess with it and 
and see if I can do it. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so, yeah. I just wanted to mention how awesome Kirsten is in helping me. Thank you so, so much, girl. OMG. Um, I think that's it. Oh, I think that's all I have to talk about. Oh, no, we can talk about Big Brother. Okay, so we watched Thursdays, but we watched it last night. And Frank got evicted. And I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I'm being naive about Frank, but I really liked him. And I think some other people like Frank, too. As from what I can tell in my comments, people like Frank, too. So now, and I was sad that he didn't get the round-trip ticket. Bridget, man, she could have gone. I could have let go of her. No problem. Um, so, yeah. Who do I want to win now? I mean, who is still a floater? Corey. Zakia. Natalie. Um, I don't know. I mean, Bridget won HOH, I guess. We, t we missed an entire episode. I don't know what happened, but our, our DVR didn't record an entire episode. So, I missed the episode where Julie had announced that the, the twist of teams was over and... I guess she explained that other things were coming because then the secret room all of a sudden popped up and I hadn't heard about it before. Yeah, so, yeah. I missed one episode. I have no idea what happened. But, it's alright. Um. <sighs> I'll be interested to see how they handle Victor being back in the house. Because, I mean, he got kicked out already. Like, and they don't take kindly to people coming back in the house that were already kicked out or already had their shot. So we'll see about that as well. Um, Paul is like a little less on my nerves, but still. Polly, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like he's a little too big for his britches. But, so I don't really know who I want to win at this point. James? No. No. I don't really know. I don't have like a fave right now. Frank was my favorite, I think. Devon, she uh, she was getting a little um no no no, what am I doing? She was getting a little snippy. So I don't really know. I have no idea now. I have to see maybe Sunday, see what happens. I want to see who wins H of H. H of H. H O H. Oh god, that scared me. Um, and we'll see. Oh, I meant to vacuum my car and I didn't. I wanted to vacuum it because we're taking this car to Florida on Friday, I think. Um, oh, a little announcement. In the event anyone is sending me mail or something, has my address and is sending me whatever, a letter, anything. My mail is stopping as of August 5th. I totally forgot that you can put mail on hold. So my lovely mail lady reminded me to do that. So I put it on hold as of August 5th. Um, and I was gone all day today, so I don't think I'll get anything filmed tonight, but hopefully I can get stuff filmed tomorrow. Yeah. All right, guys that is all that I have to share today right now so I will put in a picture of the jewelry and a picture of the fan example so you can see what I'm talking about with the heart shape all right I will talk to you later So I'm really excited about something. It's very weird to be excited about.
this particular thing, but I'm excited. Okay, so let's recap. Food-wise, breakfast, I had six points. We'll call it six points. I did not drink the whole thing. I swear there's probably... I love when she stretches. She's like totally back to normal, by the way. So, she's cool. Um, bless her heart. So anyway, I had a six smart point venti iced americano. There was, I mean, this much left of it that I didn't drink. But I'll still count it as six points, even though it's probably like five points, but it's fine. And then um, I had the sandwich, but we're counting as seven points. So that is 13 points for breakfast. Yes. And then for lunch, I also had 13 points. So that was 26. So that left me, that left me 26. That left me 10 for the day. Yep. That makes sense. And then I had my, oh, did I take a picture? Yes, I did take a picture, which you will have seen before this. <laughs> So for dinner, I had my chipotle bowl, which is a barbacoa bowl with white rice, cheese, mild salsa, and lettuce. It is 12 points. And then I had 20 baked scoops for four points. So total is 16. So that means I only went six into my weeklies, which I am very proud about because usually I go far into my weeklies um, just with lunch alone on this day. And then... So, okay, that means that I had 42 weeklies, so I was left with 36 weeklies. Yes. So then, I decided I wanted ice cream again, and this is what I'm so excited about. I got a small Oreo, basically blizzard. It's That's kind of what it is. And I looked it up on the app, and it was 29 points. I looked it up after I purchased it, after I ate it. Because I was going to say, well, I'll just wipe out all my weeklies for it and not worry about tracking it, just wipe out all my weeklies. No. You know what I did? I tracked that son of a gun. And it was 29 points, so that leaves me seven weeklies for the week, which I feel is totally fine, as long as I don't have ice cream tomorrow. Um, I think we'll be good. For the majority of the week. I don't know how Friday is going to go because I believe Friday is our travel day. Um, our main driving day. Chad, I think, is going to try and drive it straight. I don't know about that. Um, uh, so, yeah. But I have seven weeklies left. And, of course, I will earn activity points this week because I do plan on working out. So... I'm just like so, that's what I was excited about, was tracking the ice cream. I tracked it. Something that was 29 points, I tracked it. And I have weeklies left. I'm really proud of myself. I know that I shouldn't be proud of myself because I had ice cream two days in a row probably. But, girl, who freaking cares? It's my life. And I decided I wanted ice cream again. So I had it. And I'm just very proud of myself that I kept myself accountable and I tracked it. So yay. Ah, ah, ah. Um, so right now I am working on some wedding stuff. I just got a second draft, probably the final draft of the fans from Kirsten. And um, let's see. Um, I'm also working on the menu to try and do it by myself. I don't know. I'm trying to find fonts that work really well. And then Marley is just lying. I'll show you her in a second. I'm also watching New Girl. My sister got me into it when I was in Florida. So I am now in season two, episode 16. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Oh my gosh, she's stretching again. She's so cute. She is so cute. Let me show you. Are you comfy over there? Hey. Hi, sleepy girl. What are you doing? Go ahead, sleep. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Okie dokie. So that is all that I had to report. You will see me tomorrow. Tomorrow I have a lot of crap to do. 
I have a lot of things that I want to accomplish. I cannot sleep in late. Cannot. I need to get things done. I need to start cleaning the house for when we leave it. I need to do a ton of laundry. I basically need to unpack in order to repack because I haven't unpacked from Florida yet. And then um, I need to do the tiniest little bit of work. It's super tiny. It should take me 10 minutes. Um, but it wouldn't hurt if I did a little bit of extra because that will just help my week go better. You just sweet pea. Um, I figured out an arrangement for her for the wedding, which I'm really, really pleased about. I was kind of very stressed about that, but I'm, I'm glad it's going to work out perfectly, I think. Um, okay, so I will see you guys tomorrow. We can chat a ton more tomorrow. I didn't get any fruit today, so I might run out to the grocery store um, tomorrow and pick up some grapes and stuff. But anyway, I hope you guys had a great Saturday. I liked mine pretty well, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!